Welcome back. I'm in for Mark tonight. We begin sports with high school boys basketball. Grand Metal wrapping up their season in Rochester against Schaefer Academy. First half, Lions down big, but they get back in this one. Luke Bothan sinks a three from the corner pocket to trim the deficit to nine. Now a few possessions later, the Larks had the answer. Evan Olke bullies his way to the paint and scores on the second effort there, but the Lions would respond. Still in the second half, Evan Van Schempen can't connect, but Adam Rector does. Lions still down nine, but the Larks were too good in this one. Mason Gear splashes in the triple right here. Grand Meadow leaves Rochester with a 54-37 victory. To junior hockey now, we head out to the rec center. The Grizzlies needed just one point to claim their second consecutive Central Division title. They peppered the Milwaukee Power with shots early on. Hunter Wilms with a great chance here, but he's stonewalled by Ewan McDevitt. And the Grizz can't capitalize. Later, Cole Gibson fires a shot from just inside the blue line, but Soderwall makes another save. Still in the period, the Grizz with a two on one, and they can't finish. The Grizzlies score three goals in the third period to win this one four to three. They are your Central Division champions. Next, almost a year after the COVID-19 pandemic shut down the world of sports, Governor Walls announced fans would be allowed back in stadiums and arenas. Beginning April 1st, outdoor venues like Target Field will be allowed up to 10,000 fans. Meanwhile, indoor venues like the XL Energy Center and Target Center will be allowed up to 3,000 fans. The Twins home opener is scheduled for April 8th against Seattle. And the organization has said previously it wanted 10,000 fans in the stands for opening day. The Wild have already announced they will welcome 3,000 fans starting on April 5th against the Avalanche. And they are ready to get some energy back in the arena. It's fantastic. I mean, any like we've got whatever 150 now. Um, it's exciting for us to have, you know, friends and family come. And now it's going to be even more exciting to have our our fans come. And um, yeah, I mean, we're we're jacked about it. Um, I think the the entire league, the entire world, for that matter, is jacked about it. And speaking of the Wild, the Coyotes are in town for a three-game set. The Wild would pull off this one in the third, beating Arizona 4 to nothing. The goals were all scored in the third period. This is the first of three games in five days for these two in St. Paul. The next game is Sunday. Puck drops at 1 that afternoon. Let's head to spring training now. The Twins taking on the Braves. Top of one here, Pablo Sandoval. The Kung Fu Panda rips a single to right. That brings in a run. Twins down one to nothing. Top of three, same score. The Braves extend their lead here. Johan Camargo cranks a two-run homer to left. Limited Twins highlights here. They lose this one eight to five. They're back in action tomorrow at the Rays. And to high school wrestling now tomorrow, three schools will earn berths in the state tournament in Class A. The 2017 and 18 state champion Zambroda Mazeppa looks to punch their ticket to the state tournament, but they'll face a tough test against the defending Section 1 champion GMLOS Bulldogs. In Double A, the Lake City Tigers earned a date with top-seeded and top-ranked. Simley. Simley is looking to defend its state title from a year ago. In AAA, the six-seed Albert Lee Tigers look to keep their Cinderella run going. They'll face top-seeded Northfield Albert Lee, upset both the two and three seed en route to the section championship. And that's a look at sports on this Friday night. We'll now check on weather one last time with Amanda. Thanks.